I think we'll start this out with an example. You the filter chain is you're going to have a pass. I'm a bit loud. You grab by the function. Yeah, I mean, we're funny, but not always a Myself, so be patient. Looks like I'm taking a wee if you're coming from the other side. <laughs> well, ladies and gentlemen, there's, as usual here at Psychor, there's always more to the story. So, well, hold on, let me find my way out of this mess here. All right, there we go. <laughs> Hi. Um, so, uh, that was really weird. I echo a lot in there. Huh. Anyway, um, that's really about bothersome. Anyway, a couple of things we need to know about, about uh, um, some schedules of reinforcement that I just kind of want to add that we, that we haven't really included in some of the other videos. Um, the first thing is I want you to be aware of a limited hold. Way cool technique, all right? Um, everybody's familiar with a limited hold, um, but it's, it can sometimes be difficult to use, but I think it's a really important procedure to be aware of and to use um, as you see fit, maybe often, maybe hint, hint, wink, wink, nod, nod. Um, so that, that particular procedure, limited hold, is where you make uh, the completion of a schedule, right? So you got one of your basic schedules. It could be complex. But anyway, so you get a schedule, right? Let's say an FR, fixed ratio 7, whatever that means, right? So we have an FR 7, and, and the completion of that should deliver a reinforcer, right? However, you could put it on a limited hold where it's only going to be available for a certain amount of time. So meaning you have to complete your FR 7 within a given time frame. If you miss it, if you miss the end of that time frame, no reinforcer for you. It's like no soup for you, right? Um, so for an old, that's a really old Seinfeld reference. Like none of you guys watching this are going to get it. But if you do, great, congratulations. Um, and you get reinforcers for referencing an old TV show. So um, limited hold, again, reinforcement's only available for a specific period of time. So you still have to complete the schedule, but it has to be done within a time frame. So um, let's see what other stuff do we need. Ratio strains, all right? Since we were talking about a fixed ratio, I briefly mentioned uh, ratio strain in another, in probably two or three videos. Uh, but it's important because when you're really pushing on somebody when you're really working hard you're getting that ratio up there and you're you're thinning out the schedule and that's another thing that we're going to talk about here in a sec so you're thinning out the schedule you're reducing the amount of uh, reinforcer that you're delivering for the behavior you got more and more behavior being held by the schedule that you're on you're thinning it out you're thinning it out and all the person says i'm done i am not going to work for you anymore i've had i've had it i've had enough i'm done i quit i'm out i'm get done ratio of strength right um Thinking back to the Penny Packers Pedants video, and I'm kind of giggling, so go look that one up about ratio strain, you'll understand why I'm giggling. Uh, but so, ratio strain, that one, uh, so again, that means you just pushed them a little too far. Not enough reinforcement available for that particular behavior to maintain, so you might have to richen up that schedule a little bit or thicken up that schedule a little bit. So, uh, uh, the last thing is thinning the schedule, right? So, which I should have done before the ratio strain, but anyway, so you start out quite rich, right? So, you've seen the other videos, you understand um, that reinforcement should be done initially very frequently. So maybe a continuous reinforcement schedule, um, and you start to thin that out, right? So as you thin that out, um, you're going to get effects each time you start to thin that out. So be, be wary of the fact that um, if you take too big of a jump, you're going to lose the behavior. You're going to put the person on ratio strain um, or whatever the case may be, and they're just going to essentially stop working. There's going to be all sorts of other things that happen because functionally speaking, as you thin that schedule, um, you're really kind of in an odd way putting people on um, an extinction procedure. So not, not directly, but you get what I mean. If you were on a CR, if you were on a continuous reinforcement schedule, so for every behavior that you're engaging in, you got a reinforcer for it, and then we start to thin that out. Now you're going three, four, five, six behaviors before you're in a reinforcer. Three, four, five, and six are all our five are all extinction because you're not earning a reinforcer for those. So that can be challenging to deal with. You do want to program for this. It's really important in order to make sure that um, you are switching from contrived scenarios to natural scenarios. That's kind of the idea with thinning the schedule is to you're delivering your, con your contrived reinforcers early on in the program and you want to fade those out and get rid of those to where the natural reinforcers take their place. You do that by thinning the schedule. So I think that's a pretty good little vignette on some of the things you need to worry about with schedules of reinforcement and I'm sure there's plenty more to talk about. So I'm going to go back over here because it's really cool.